Can someone please tell me which Claire is telling the truth? The Claire who says she wants a separation from Cameron? Or the Claire who acts like she wants a divorce from Cameron? Welcome to Cliff Alerts. Today we're going to be talking about Lifetime Network's reality-based TV series, Married at First Sight, season number 17, episode number 11. But before we get into it, please like, share, and subscribe. Please send us your comments and give us a like, and we appreciate and thank you for your support. Cameron said he's still trying to figure out Claire and what she wants and find his way because he thinks he's getting mixed signals from her and it's confusing. And Claire indicated that she's expending a lot of energy and she could see that Cameron is doing his best, but they're still at an impasse at this point. Dr. Pierre recommended that they do some kind of activity and they chose indoor skiing. But as we see them go through the motions, it seemed like they weren't really having a, a lot of fun. It didn't look like they were enjoying each other's company. Yeah. There seemed to be a heaviness with them. Right. And it, from my vantage point, it appeared as though while they were attempting to do what Dr. Pia suggested, that attempt was overshadowed by the weight of the scenario that, them, that they find themselves in right now. Uh, tension between them and just an inability to get on the same page to figure out what they're going to do moving forward right as a unit lauren meets with claire and orion meets with cameron and claire tells lauren that they're having a difficult time connecting and she feels at this point that they should rally sever their relationship and go their separate ways but she doesn't know because she's so into her head lauren suggested that maybe she's overthinking stuff and based on her experience it's not a good idea to just wrap things up and you really don't want to do something too soon to regret it in the end yeah claire says she doesn't want a divorce but that she feels like she and cam forcing it force fitting their relationship right. into what it should and supposed to be. Cameron tells Orion that at this point, he has used all his emotional capital on trying to keep this thing together. And he feels like Claire is playing games because just when he wants to, to just sever everything, he does something to pull him back Reel in. Reel him back in. On the after party, Claire said that she tried to have sex with Cameron and he rebuffed her. Perhaps that's what Cameron means when he is getting ready to leave. He does something to pull him back in. Interesting point. One that I think, um, personally speaking, is dead center bullseye accurate. Claire is playing some woman games right through here because on the after party, she started crying and teared up because she said that she felt rejected, that he didn't want to get some. And you understand why he wouldn't because he doesn't trust her. And he is unfortunately getting uh, more and more attached to her. And it's going to be complicated because he realized that she can change her mind at any time and cut him loose. So why invest in getting with her there's some men who won't try to get with you because of how they're feeling towards you yeah despite what i believe it was that media nicole. guests and nicole, nicole. Uh, asserted that men are not going to turn down the, the, the free stuff the, you know what i'm talking about right so but um let me see before we move on let me say this about just this whole notion of uh orion offering any advice whatsoever to Cameron, okay? To me, it's like this. You have, on the one hand, a guy who was married for all intents and purposes, Four days, a, a, work, days. a work week, a work week and weekend, okay? Trying to give substantive advice to somebody who's been married a month. I'm supposed to believe that 
He's got something legitimate to say. It's like married people taking advice from their single friend. Exactly. It doesn't make any sense. Right, because they haven't walked that path of being married yet. Exactly. What I found amusing was when Orion told Cameron that he needs to advocate for himself. And then he went further. He said he, Orion, should have advocated more for himself in his situation. Yeah, I found it confusing, his response. And the reason why was because I thought he was saying that, you know, by his line of thinking, he should have been married three and a half to four days rather than the eight days that he was. Yeah. An extended weekend. Sounds like perfect nonsense to me. What does it sound like to y'all? So the next time we see uh, Cameron and Claire, Cameron is with his friend because it's the month anniversary of their wedding. And Cameron decides not to celebrate that with Claire. Instead, he went out uh, with his friend. And Claire said she got a text from him, an email of some sort. And she said definitively, like, she's not going to continue this because he is not uh, putting in the effort and she wants to shut this down. Yeah, and to, in Cam's case, as it relates to his friend Attilio, who he met with, I kind of felt like Attilio was kind of saddened by the, yeah. the uh, turn of events as it relates to Cameron and Flair. And I think that he was really pulling for him to kind of make it. We were told that they had been separated for a couple of days and she wasn't sure whether Cameron was going to even show up for the dinner um, to celebrate the one month anniversary. With the other couples or other castmates, yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. And she seemed like she was clear about what she was going to do. Right. But uh, on the other hand, she was anxious. Yes. Seemingly from my vantage point. All the couples got there and we see Claire and Cameron come through the door and they're together. He probably picked her up or they made some kind of arrangement. Mm -hmm. They connected prior to. But Cameron was animated and it seemed like he wanted uh, a d decision. He wasn't going to have her waffle. He wanted to be clear. Mm -hmm. So Becca asked the question, what advice would you give yourself had you known that there would be so many challenges by getting married at first sight and then went around the room and when it came to Cameron he said well we got a decision to make right because there have been um from his vantage point some misalignments yes mm -hmm. that's yes. I, that's the word I believe he used to yeah. kind of characterize yeah. or describe where they are now right and what um uh, what was causing him some issue or and or concerns Right. So he set it up that at the count of three, they give their answer and the other couples look a little surprised about what they were getting ready to say to each other. But Cameron was clear and definite about the choices uh, that were going to be offered to both of them. Either they should be divorced or they should remain together and work it out. Right. Very clear. And he did the, the countdown. Mm -hmm. He said divorce and she said separated. separated. He gave an answer, though, what, that was outside of the choices that she was offered. When they got back to the apartment that Claire is uh, inhabiting by herself, at the door there was a gift, which was pictures of their wedding. They sent those packages, uh, those anniversary packages to each of the couple. Yes. Times. And I thought it was where that they decide on something so major and they would sit down and go through their wedding pictures. Afterwards. Afterwards. That That's not steeped in reality. <laughs> it's like, what are these people trying to be okie doke? What exactly is this in foolishness? And speaking of exactly, I was exactly scratching my egg and trying to figure it out. Come on, man. All for show. <laughs> All for the camera. He eventually got up and he said goodbye and we saw him packing his stuff. And she was sitting on the couch and they hugged each other as he headed out the door. And that was basically it. One thing happened that was 
surprising was Brennan and Emily had a little upset at the table and Emily left. Claire goes outside to talk with Emily. Emily to try to console her over what she in part witnessed as part of their disagreement at the table in front of the group. And we hear Claire trying to give her advice. And the advice was, you know, you deserve better. You should you should cut this loose. And I'm thinking, therapist, heal thyself. She just dropped some wisdom on y'all. Y'all paying attention to that? Because I sure was. Heal thyself, girl. She can't even figure out her situation. How is she going to help somebody else? Well, in order to be able to figure it out, first of all, don't you have to be honest about your situation? She's not even doing that. When she goes on the, the after party, stating that Cameron never liked her, he never gave her a compliment, he didn't like her body type, and uh, he never really sought her out to make her feel like a wife. Later on, she said Cameron told her that he liked her. He's and consistent. Told other people that he liked her, but before she said Cameron didn't like her. So which one is which it? Which one is it? Can't be both at the same time. And there's no philosophical explanation that she can offer up to make us believe any different. Listen, I think um, uh, Claire got in her head and the way she decided to deal with it because she's scared. And you know how therapists are removed from their clients because they have to see them in a different holistic way. That's how she treated Cameron. I just think that she mishandled this situation completely. Agreed. Yeah, that doesn't mean that Cam didn't make any mistakes. Yes, it just means did. that, uh, from my vantage point, he was at least uh, genuine in his approach to try to do this thing and earnest in his effort that he put forth, even though he wasn't quite sure about how to go about it. His intent was sincere. And she could have tried to meet him halfway, but instead she locked that door and refused to let him in. And made excuses and philosophical responses when when asked to really get in deep. And then at the at the end, when you see stuff is really falling apart, you try to offer him your body mm -hmm. when all you could have done is offer him your heart and your time and be sincere about how you moved in the confines of their marriage didn't make any sense and let me tell you what she um did in my opinion as it relates to her appearance on the after party she uh, was finger pointing and placing all the blame on cameron for their uh lack of success in, in their marriage compared well, to when she was at the table she apologized profusely to him right for the end of their relationship right and now she no longer is is Confused, very determined to deflect. Yes. Okay. Any kind of perceived criticism, whether it came from Keisha or anybody else, away from her. Yes. Yes. That's the way it appeared 